you guys didn't get the result you wanted against the Rams, but what did that game do for your confidence as an offense, the way you ran the ball? It did a lot. I mean, we uh, we did what we set out to do, which was uh, establish a line of scrimmage, um, you know, win that battle in the run game, which uh, led to us being pretty good in pass protection, which is something that they kind of pride themselves on as a pass rush. You know, I think we had a really good balanced attack. Um, you know, we were just a couple of yards away from, from kicking a field goal and winning that the end. So, you know, it was a tough one, but as an offensive line, I think we just continue to establish our identity, you know, as being a, a physical group and running the ball. How different is their defensive front with Dante Fowler in there on tape? Uh, he's a pretty good edge presence, uh, rushing the passer. It gives them another added element in that pass rush. Um, you know, we have some experience against them. I played against them a lot when he was in Jacksonville. Um, he's a talented athlete, you know, so I think uh, as before where guys were so conscious of the inside and stopping the inside, you know, now you have to really focus on that edge as well. So definitely an, uh, an upgrade on the edge for him. How often do you use that first game against the Rams as a point of reference in like meeting rooms when you're trying to explain a concept or making sure that everybody's on track? Quite often. It's always good when you when you face a team twice a year and, um, you know, kind of knowing where what they will present as a defense, different alignments, uh, knowing the personnel, knowing what you're up against. Uh, what their tendencies are, you know, um, things that worked against them, things that we know they'll make a point of emphasis to stop. Um, it, it, it helps a lot, and we watch it quite a bit. You said the way that you guys were running the ball in that first game <laughs> led to you guys being better in pass protection. How so? Well, it we wasn't one-dimensional, you know, and they couldn't focus on the pass. And, you know, uh, they have a very talented offense. And, um, you know, most teams, when you get down by a couple of scores, you have to air the ball out a lot, and that's when they pin their ears back. Uh, we were in the game the whole time, um, just going tit for tat, and uh, you know they had to be focused on the run game, and couldn't quite rush the passer like we wanted to. You know, so uh, that's going to be crucial for us to be able to do that again uh, to be successful. It starts with getting some of those hard yards on the ground in the first quarter. At what point, as an offensive line, do you know that you have imposed your will on the other team? Um, <clears throat> I think when they know we're going to run the ball, you know, uh, the first quarter. That's that's what you always try to do. You try to establish a line of scrimmage and, and win that battle, and and kind of set the tone for how the game's going to go. And um, you know, once we're able to do that, um, you know, and, and get into the second half, third and fourth quarter, when you can, can you continue to be able to do that, and they know you're going to do it, and you continue to, uh, that's when you know you got it, and it's a great feeling. But we know we know we're going to get their best shot. I mean, you know, that was uh, we had like 190 some yards, I think, rushing. So. Um, and, and they're playing at home this time. So we know they're going to make it a point to try to stop that, and we just have to match that intensity. What is sort of the feel, I guess, in the locker room after the game on Sunday and sort of where you are at 4-4 four and four at the midway point? It's tough. Uh, we, we know that we're, we're better than, than that product we put out there. And um, it wasn't a clean game for us by any means, too many penalties and, um, and just uh, missed opportunities. And uh, we were still in the game. You know, so that, you know, we, we took some positives out of it and just, just ha knowing how resilient our team is. But we know that we're better than four and four, you know. And um, so, you know, I think there's a sense of urgency now to, to get that turned around. And uh, you always got to rise to the occasion for this team we got we got here. And so as soon as that game over was go was over, we, we kind of had to turn our attention to this week. We know there's no bigger week in this week. So um, it was a disappointing feeling and, and we don't want to have that again. When you see those penalties, you know, those mishaps, what, do you think it's more of a discipline thing and mixture of the youth in there? What Can you pinpoint um, kind of the issue there? Uh, it's hard to pinpoint it. Um, I think it's a focus thing. You know, I mean, you're going to have technique things like, you know, holding penalties, um, you know, things like that. But when you have, like, you know, penalties at the line of scrimmage, false starts, things like that, that's more of a focus issue, and that's something that, you know, has to be corrected. You know, uh, I think we have a pretty good team, but it's hard to overcome those kinds of things, you know. And um, so it, it's, I don't think it's a mixture of youth. I think it's just, you know, guys getting overly anxious and just getting kind of excited and, and, you know, things like that. But, um, you know, I don't feel like we'll have that problem again. Thank you. Appreciate you.